G'day guys, uh, John Schwenger here. Welcome to another marathon training video. Now today's video I'm running the Cedar Summit run, which is from uh, Kingston Park here up to Mount Lofty Summit. I haven't run it before, but I do have the GPX map in my phone, so hopefully I don't get like, too lost. Uh, let's get into it. I've already had to make a slight detour the um, pedestrian crossing on the route for the uh, railway crossing has been closed so had to um, make a detour so it's only a couple hundred meters each way okay I'm in the first of the uh, conservation parks Oh, Halloran Hill. Now, those of you who are familiar with uh, Marion's Shopping Centre, you know that Morford Road goes past it and then keeps going up the hill. Well, this trail goes behind the top of Morford Road. So, it's pretty steep. Okay, so I got a little bit lost coming out of the park, but I kept in generally the right uh, direction. So just coming up to the south road here. I yeah, found a very steep hill that goes below Flinders Uni to above Flinders Uni in a few hundred meters. So it's pretty tough. Now for the last three months I've been injured haven't really done that much uh, structured training I'm just building up at the moment so don't have the condition to do this kind of run really a 11k mark and I've pretty much popped I, hopefully if I just jog real slow for a while I'll come good again but it's gonna be pretty tough 21k uphill still to go you might be wondering why would I do a run like this when I haven't trained for it well I saw a Facebook post this morning about the Cedar Summit Trail first event was held 10 years ago today on 4th of January 2009 so it's 4th of January 2019 now the event was moved to winter because having it in summer you can get pretty hot days and yesterday was I think 41 in Adelaide maybe 42 overnight low of 30 so really uh, difficult weather today there's meant to be a cool change coming but it's still pretty sunny um, and struggling to operate the phone here because it's getting too wet and I haven't got a haven't got a dry spot on my clothes anywhere now I've got a bit of a funny uh, dilemma I um, have to get back to my car usually if I'm this stuffed in a run I just stop if it was training um, which it is you know just thought it'd be something interesting to get me motivated to get out and do more training something a bit more epic than just a lap around the, the neighborhood uh, but yeah my dilemma is I've parked my car at the uh, Crayfers Park and Ride caught the bus into the city and then caught the train on the Seaford line getting off at Seacliff so that's how I got to the start here 
So I've still got to get back at least to my car at Crafers. And while I'm there, I might as well do the extra three and a half kilometers from there to Mount Lofty. I will see how I'm going by then. At the moment, I'm still not even halfway. But yeah, pretty, pretty gone. <laughs> Um, part of ultra running though yeah, I find that most of, most of my ultra races that I've done you reach a point where you're just wrecked usually it's after 30 to 40k where any type of reasonable pace in running is very difficult considering how much elevation you've done previously um, but yeah it's a bit interesting having got through only 13 14 K and really thinking that's about all my legs can handle today and anyway I'll keep on going particularly sunny spot here in the Sturt Gorge a lot of it has been nice and shady through creeks yeah, it's pretty warm Belair National Park on the uh, Yarrabilla Trail section goes straight up the middle of the park I sort of going from the, the low point in the park pretty much straight through to the high point it's popular with runners along here but today I the body just doesn't want to move so just uh, just walking it through and Really should be running this section, but I thought there was a I thought there was an uphill. Seems like it's nice and flat and slightly downhill even. Anyway, doesn't seem too far now to get to the top. I've only got about 11k to go. Should be able to get that done. Might take more than an hour the way I'm going, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it will actually. But still, it's a bit of a, it's a nice. Uh, Nice walk through the park here. Okay, it seems my uh, my GPS watch lost itself uh, through the echo tunnel, tunnel, so I just stopped uh, doing distance. We kept adding on time. I was looking down, thinking, "Am I really doing 15 minutes, 19 minutes for this kilometer walking?" So surely I can walk it faster than three kilometers an hour. Uh, but yeah, then I realised that the time wasn't, uh, the distance wasn't moving on the uh, GPS. So looks like I'm not going to be able to go by distance now. How far I've got remaining? All I know is that it's going to be stopping the clock at less than 32k, I assume. Although I have done quite a few detours, so I'll just assume that I'll probably be at about the end after 32k getting up to 23k done now and I hope I'm not doing uh, 20 kilometers 20 minutes per kilometer I think I'm doing 
faster than that, or I hope I'm doing faster than that. It's just going to be a long 9k if I'm doing three kilometers an hour. Now, I do see other people doing ultra vlogs and I get really into them thinking yeah come on guys let's see how you go I can see you're really hurting let's see you finish see if you can do it and then you get a few minutes later they say no decided to pull the pin with 20 mile to go or whatever and I think oh I wanted to see you actually do it, see you get through it, see the accomplishment you got from doing it. And I feel like, well, I'm in one of those situations now. <laughs> I'm, my lungs, really not wanting to run, not wanting to move at all. I think 30k would be my upper limit of how far I could run at the moment. But not, not with heels in it. So, oh yeah, still to be seen. Will I disappoint you guys for, uh, by, by stopping with three and a half K to go? Or do I put myself out there for another seven Ks? Three and a half K up, three and a half K down from Crafers, just so that I can finish the run. Well, is that really what ultra is meant to be about? Meant to be taking yourself deeper than you've ever been before and being in hurt for longer? I don't know. For me, I prefer ultra to be about seeing lots of different terrain, just rolling along and just amaz amazing myself at how far I can cover just taking it all in but for me ultra is not about what I'm going through at the moment which is being in a really bad way for a really long time I'm uh, nearly at Crafers now it's taken one hour for the last 5k probably just over an hour actually for 5k which is they're really slow for me. I've, when I'm in good shape, I can finish a marathon last 5k in 17 minutes. So yeah, it's a bit of a different story today when I'm out of shape and doing something I'm not ready for. Now, I could keep on going from Crafers to the top. It'd be pretty dangerous if I did. I um, I haven't had a proper breakfast. I was in a rush to get the bus this morning. And it, so I only had a, a short breakfast, a couple of nectarines. It's just after midday now. I don't really fancy walking around on a hot day for another couple of hours without having breakfast or lunch. So, I think I'm gonna to have to call it and say that's the end of my 10th anniversary see to summit. I'll call it my first attempt and see if um, I can have another go uh, soon. And once I've got some consist consistent training, body feels like running for reasonable distances, we'll see how we go. Anyway, thanks for watching so far, and if I do another attempt, it'll be right now. Okay, so that was three hours, 30 minutes to uh, Crafers. Now, it's now the 19th of January, so I've had uh, 15 days of training. Uh, it was a good wake up call to do that uh, run. Showed how out of shape I was, but good, good motivation to um, hit some hills and uh, get some intensity in my training. So uh, yeah, I've had uh, a good, 
good couple of weeks of training since then. Um, 325Ks altogether, so two sort of 100 mile weeks um, since, uh, since that last attempt. And I'm here to give it a go again. So on the train now to, um, to Seacliff, or the, the Seaford line, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, today goes a lot better than, uh, than last time. I, my training hasn't been going all that well. Um, it's, uh, you know, my times haven't been all that good. I've been a bit of a struggle, but I have been feeling good on some of my easy runs. So that's, that's a plus and um, I should be able to get through today's uh, long run uh, from uh, Kingston Park up to Mount Lofty Summit. Okay, so I've just done the bit behind Flinders Uni and feeling much, much better than last time. So it looks like I'll be able to get through the run, no worries. Um, still got 20k to go, but yeah, completely different to last time with how good I feel. Now there is a bit of a difference between the uh, Walking SA GPX file and the Strava route for the people that do the race along here. Um, the Strava route is through the creek here and it's a lot more shady so not as much sun as last time which is really nice. Okay, so doing a difficult bit through uh, Belair National Park, but uh, no delirious monologues today. I'm going all right, actually. Just I've got about 10k to go. I started pushing it a little bit, and I think that's a mistake. I, my legs are really going to struggle with this last 10k, but I'll we'll see how we go. It's only 10k. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can make out the um, the sea behind me there, but just covered that 32 k's. It's about 32 and a half. I got a bit lost after Crafers because again, it's the first time I've done that uh, section. Um, it's yeah, it's where I, my time blew out a little bit, but two hours 42 minutes and 43 seconds for the um, Cedar Summit. Um, I believe a couple guys have gone under 240 for the for the race. They've done 238, 236. So pretty happy with yeah 240, 242 for for today's uh, run. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, my uh, hammy started to give me a bit of trouble um, just uh, through crafers, uh, but yeah, got through it. So really happy with that. And as you can see, it's a it's a busy day uh, this morning, uh, Saturday morning. Um, a few two down under riders today as well, um, being the second to last stage of the two down under. But yeah, lots of people at the top of Mount Lofty like usual. Of course, most of them have just done, just done it from Waterfall Gully, so a bit of a different run uh, for me at this time. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, now it's time for me to get back to the car. 
um, another three and a half k back down to Crafers. It was actually just over four k from from Crafers to here, so uh, yeah, it took took um took a while to get from Crafers to here. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching. See you next time.